Hey everybody, so welcome to week six of our seven app seven week challenge. Just two more weeks to go and I can be more excited in finally, hopefully completing this challenge I set for myself and hopefully some of you have also joined me in this journey. I am at a stage where I have started using Kiro and uh, you can see here on the screen that uh, Kiro is this ID from Amazon that uh, is a, people say it's just a fork of VS Code, but I'm sort of testing it. I haven't really done this before. I somehow feel that it has some very advanced capabilities as an agentic ID. And uh, right now I'm doing this project where what I'm planning to do is to build a system but let's say you ask a question for uh, for you to be answered. For example, what is Kubernetes? So let's say this is the question and you want that to be answered. And what I'm going to do is create a short one minute video as the output. So I haven't really seen this system very many places. So I was like, oh, maybe it might be good. And for the avatar, I'm trying to make me as the avatar that is uh, going to be teaching the one minute video. So there is going to be quite a number of tasks, quite a number of uh, places where the lip sync has to match a lot of things. And so the good thing about Kiro is I'm in the specs mode and the spec is uh, essentially going to start with, uh, you know, what is the technology, what is the responsibilities and this and that. And uh, gives you an overview, okay? So the AI video generator is a comprehensive system that uses uh, text prompts into a professional bite-sized video. And uh, the idea is uh, I want to maybe get this close to our no-code approach. I don't think that is going to be possible based on what I have seen and where I am till now. The there are two issues that I'm facing. One is the uh, stability of these uh, agentic automations, which is really good. I must agree that, uh, you know, it is way faster than me just using uh, chat GPT to the whole, do the whole thing, which is not very comprehensive, which is what I've been doing till now. But, uh, you know, Kiro is, is pretty advanced when it comes to you know, tackling most of these agents. But you can see here on the right side of my screen that, uh, you know, sometimes some uh, things like uh, like right here, npm test, uh, I mean, it is a test command. So it is trying to do a unit test and uh, that probably is going to take longer than what uh, one might expect. So maybe this is going to get created fast, but I've always seen that if it's hanging, then it just hangs and doesn't do anything. So last night I left it, but uh, I didn't get the outputs by this morning. The other thing is there was a lot of parts of the code where I had to manipulate things myself, not just simple things like setting up environment variables and those kind of things, which obviously, you know, I have to provide the API keys, the secret keys and all of that. But more than that, uh, somehow I felt that the code could have been written a little better. Um, but the good thing is it does, that, does an automatic testing in the back end and maybe it is going to be revising the code to come up with uh, better outcomes. So just to give you an idea, the way it is structured is amazing. So if not anything, I'll definitely use it for documentation. But once the code is done, I will be uh, downloading it and, uh, you know, taking care of it myself because right now I think they have uh, 50 agentic tasks that are limited. I don't know if it's per day or what it is. So there is going to be some limit that I'm going to hit. And uh, some of the learners in my class that I teach uh, told me that they were hitting limits as well. And so I am possibly not going to be using the agentic uh, parts more than needed. But uh, if you look at the tasks, uh, it has done creating a direct structure for all of this, creating an environment configuration, and then it's going to implement the bedrock and create a bedrock client wrapper, create a retry logic, which is pretty amazing because based on what you have seen in all the previous videos, I had to do that myself as well. 
And then it is going to the heart of this application, which is generate creating a content generation service. And in addition, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a mermaid.js uh, uh, diagram generator so that in the one minute video, there's also some kind of a presentation aspect to it. So I really want it to be like as if a teacher is presenting. I <laughs> was thinking the implications of such kind of technologies, but was convinced that, you know, this would be a very good companion in case, you know, uh, teachers want to give a weekly summary of uh, what they have been teaching and things like that. So uh, that is the goal of building uh, such a product. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm building all these visual assets. So, uh, you know, probably a lot of uh, formatting and uh, making the front end look better. Uh, this is really important because these are some of the hard things to write, like writing unit tests and uh, Kiro automatically does it. By the way, I should say if you have not been following Kiro, it is just rewrite a prompt and automatically in the spec mode, it automatically generates all of this. Some of my learners said that that's another mode called the bipe coding mode, which also works really great. I haven't tested it. I don't know what it is, but uh, honestly, the spec document really looks very good. Then I'm going to be integrating a service called DID because uh, what DID does is it is going to take the avatar of myself and uh, it is the one that is going to be generating the video from all the text outputs. And uh, it's also going to add some lip sync configurations. And, uh, you know, this is going to be a major part of the service. I have tried DID before. It works wonderfully um, for an application that I was just mentioning where I take a transcript of what I taught during the week and uh, summarize it and use uh, an avatar to summarize that and uh, speak it out loud to our audience. And so I've used it for my learners and I know it works really well. So I'm going to be trying that out. And if it works really well, I might actually end up getting a subscription for it. And then um, what I'm finally going to do is I'm going to, you know, upload all of this to uh, S3 and uh, get uh, uh, same thing as we have done previously with uh, uh, signed URLs and uh, pre-signed URLs and use that for accessing those uh, videos. And you can see that for all of this, that's going to be unit tests that it is writing, meaning it's actually going to do NPM test and hopefully do a coverage report as well. And ultimately, uh, we are going to create the web interface, uh, the front end, and any kind of error handling uh, is also going to be taken care of. And, you know, then it comes to a lot of uh, validation and uh, database integration, you know, um, you know, it takes care of everything like monitoring, logging service. And uh, in this particular case, it is suggesting to do a Docker container for all the services and probably deploying to uh, EKS or ECS, I think, but I'll probably end up uh, you know, maybe changing the architecture for such things. So you can see here that this is such a comprehensive task and, uh, you know, all the projects I've done till now look very amateurish. And so uh, that is one of the reasons I'm really trying this out. And so I'll keep you all posted on how the development process goes on um, every day. And uh, once we feel good about it, we will download the code and then I will sort of create everything in the back end myself and the front end. We will do the uh, NPM run and uh, I'm sorry, NPM start, NPM run dev, all these regular commands we will just do to see how the front end is rendered and how the back end is going to integrate. So this might take me more than a week, everyone, but I'll try to catch up in week seven. And uh, I hope this will give us an idea about how this is working we hear a lot of hype about kiro i personally think that the hypes are valid and uh, you know the true test is to put it up for you know building something and uh, seeing how well it builds and gets us the end output so with that uh, that's all i have today everyone not much it was just a discussion about this particular service
And with that, uh, hopefully it creates everything and I'm able to test it a little bit and I will see you all tomorrow with uh, more updates. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.